I had heard uh, Philip Glass's Glass Concerto, uh, I think it was in the early 2000s, and from the moment I heard it, it was something that I, I knew that I would like to choreograph to in the future. Hi, my name's Greg Horseman and I'm the Chief Ballet Master and Director of Artistic Operations at Queensland Ballet. Glass Concerto's got a very interesting story behind it because I started to create it in 2013. It was the very first thing that I had created on Queensland Ballet and its name was One More Breath for dance dialogues. I only got time to create two movements at that stage and I wasn't able to do the third movement. So uh, in 2015, I think it was, Lee had asked me if the young artists could do it for the Prix de Lausanne. So I was very excited at, at being able to do that and I was gonna be able to complete the ballet finally, um, and I changed the name to Glass Concerto. The inspiration for the piece has come from the music totally for me. It's very physical in places. It's very precise and it's very fast in places. The underlying sort of uh, feelings and emotions that I wanted to bring out in the piece is roughly sort of loosely based on sort of a journey, wanting to go somewhere, maybe you want to change your life, maybe you want to move on to, to something else in your life, but not being able to really get there sort of thing. It's not that the ballet has a, a strong sort of theme or narrative flow in any way, and I do really invite the audience to get what they feel out of watching it. And, uh, you know, the music is so amazing that with the dance and the music, I think it's a very visual piece. Hopefully, the audience sees the music, if that makes sense. The last 10 years uh, at Queensland Ballet have been extraordinary. You know, the journey the company's been on that, that Lee has taken and led the company towards has been absolutely amazing and I'm really honoured again that I could have that I've been able to be a, a big part of that journey for the company and working alongside Lee. I enjoy working with Lee so much. He's very inspiring, he inspires me, he inspires everybody at Queensland Ballet. And I guess if you're not on that train, you're not on the train. <laughs> so um, I that's hope it continues for another 10 years at least.